this is part two of the Koto documentary. We're in Gifu now, in Takayama, on top of a mountain. It's cold here, and we're scouting, doing location scouting before we meet up with Miyawa-san, the Koto player. And uh, yeah, while location scouting, we got like bikes and stuff. So it's a little bit hard to keep recording because we keep going to different spots, taking pictures of the framing and then biking away. But yeah, we're looking around at this like empty old town area <laughs> with way less people than the previous one. It looks nice. Looks nice, right? So yeah, on to the next location. Next spot. I mean, for sure, in the when you start seeing Tomo take some shots of Miwa-san, you'll see the exact spots that we chose. So yeah, don't worry if you're not seeing it now. I want to get a shot of you going on the bike and then leaving. incredible we stumbled upon this like wooden sculpture shop and the master is allowing us to take some video of him working on the sculptures it's amazing check it out to record that the master the woodworking wow amazing yeah we were really impressed and if Tomo didn't ask we wouldn't have been able, been able to record it so cool so yeah so right now we're gonna get ready we're gonna check out the spot to do a time lapse but we don't know if we can see the stars or not so we're gonna ch check it out anyway and uh, yeah what do you think people we'll see the stars yeah uh, hopefully I want to yeah so Basically, this is this is this is the end of the day for the for the for this part of the video, and uh, yeah, if I take if I manage to take any kind of time lapse or like astrophotography, I'll, you'll see it. And if I don't, see it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, I'll get a bit. <laughs> so, basically, what happened tonight was. We were pretty much going around finding a place to do the time lapse. So, you know, kind of starry night time lapse. And we were just going all over the mountain. And there was a bunch of roads that were closed because of landslides. The roads were pretty much blocked. And uh, it was pitch black, kind of spooky. Here's the little uh, sneak peek. And yeah, the final two days, it's going to be with Miwa-san. We're going to get a bunch of footage with her and an interview talking about her experience learning the koto and what it's inspired by. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Gonna tune out for tonight. Like I said that earlier, probably. See ya. So, we're at the waterfall right now and it's freezing because, you know, we're in a mountain and the waterfall is just so cold in general. We're not gonna shoot with san here. It's gonna be a bunch of B-roll, so I'm gonna bring my gimbal, get some cool shots, and uh, yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Wow, I can see it right there. Oh wow. Dude, it's so cold, man. You bring your gloves? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, it's in my bag right now. Let's go check it out. Wow. Nice. So unfortunately, it seems like this is the closest we can get to the waterfall because it's like, it's really big, way bigger than the one from Nagoya that we took before. Let's see, if we can get, let's see if we can get some shots, even though we're not exactly super close. It's 60, over 60 meters high. The waterfall. Yeah, it's huge. All right. Well, check it out. Let's see what I can get with my gimbal and handheld. So 
so in the end, it was kind of difficult to get a lot of shots with the camera on the waterfall because, you know, we were kind of far from it and a little bit lower. But Tomo was able to get really dope drone shots of the waterfall. Yeah, he took his time with it and uh, it looks really good. There was a lot of open space, not a lot of huge trees in the way. So yeah, let's see what else we can get today before the time lapse tonight. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So right now, Sumi is on his way on top of that shrine that we just so happened to pass by. We scouted it a little bit. It looks awesome. I don't think we're gonna take Miwa san there, but we're gonna get a bunch of B roll. I'm gonna remove the mic so I can like mount this on my gimbal and get a bunch of B roll and check it out. Let's see how it is. So discovering this empty temple was really awesome. We got a lot of really great golden hour b-roll. But the thing is we actually wanted to catch the sunset and go to the spot we took the time lapse in before. Unfortunately we missed the sunset, but we were still able to get the city in all its glory. <laughs> it was a really good spot. And yeah, the next day is the big shoot day, so I hope you guys enjoy. Today is the big day. It is the day we've been waiting for. It's the interview. The whole meat and potatoes of the story. We're gonna go in. Miwa-san's having a class and after the class we're gonna set up. Tomo, are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> are you I'm nervous? super excited. You nervous? You nervous? Oh, yeah, a little bit of nervous too. <laughs> yeah, so come and check it out. We're gonna, next scene you're gonna see is us setting up because we're gonna wait until our class is over. Tomo's gonna get a couple of shots and uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Basically what's happening next is that Miwa-san just finished her lesson with one of her students and Tomo is inside checking out the room that we're gonna do the interview at. The sun just came out, so it's really hot right now. Oops. We're gonna go, we're gonna go set up for the interview and then grab lunch and start the interview. So you'll check that out, check out the setup in a bit. We're going. And here's Tomo. We're going. We're going. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. Yeah. So outside we have the Aperture 300D. It's looking into the room the interview is going to be in, kind of uh, giving off a morning light, morning light effect and to fill the room with light. And then I'll show you the setup inside. If I can open this door because the door auto locks. Sorry. Ah, thank you. So this is the room that we're doing the uh, interview in. Ah, there's Miwa-san. Hi Miwa-san. Hi. <laughs> and there's the Koto. Wow, it's really big. <laughs> so over here we have, a, we have a fill light that we're gonna use and a couple of tube lights, just in case we need to use them. I think we're gonna use them. We'll check with Tomo. Tomo's bringing in the tripod now. And because the floor is such a nice tatami, he's setting it on the uh, mat so you don't, you, we don't mess it up. And outside you can see the effects of the 300D. I think I need to help. Yeah, I'll help you. We just adjusted the tripod because Miwa-san is gonna play on the tatami so we don't have to be that high. Oh yeah, check out the tennis balls DIY filmmaking so that the tripod doesn't mess up the tatami. Yay! So she, so she got into playing the koro because of her grandmother, right? Yes. So tomorrow, hopefully we get a photo of her grandmother and then... For like the finale, kind of. Like a shoot. Yes, it's like a... It could be a really good last, last scene. Last scene. Yeah. 
And then yeah, she's gonna perform for us tomorrow with the kimono. Yes, I'm excited. I love the sound of the uh, koto. It's... Man, the sound of the koto with the kimono, it's like super traditional. Yes, I'm uh, excited, I'm excited. It's gonna be beautiful, beautiful images. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're just talking about, we always talk about like the plans in the car, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, going from location to location. We're gonna go to the top of a hill, we decided. Let's see if we can get some nice shots of the city. And uh, yeah, we'll meet up with san later for dinner. Probably sign out on the video for today in the on the top of the hill. Check it out. How's the weather? <laughs> uh, weather is perfect, and you can see the it's a Koda Icho tree. And last time we came, like yes, uh, two days ago, it was green. Right now it's perfectly yellow. Oh wow! Look at that! Right there. Yeah, right there. So right now you can see Miwasan behind me. We're gonna do more B-roll, quick cuts with her in the temple. Wow, it's really bright. And yeah, it's gonna be fast, but you know. The shots be really good. So after the temple shooting with Miwa-san, we actually went to a bunch of different spots that you're about to see that are all within walking distance because again, Takayama is actually a very small town when you look at it from far. So next we went to Murahan, a traditional Japanese building, which we thought would be the perfect place to film the final Koto playing scene. So for the setup, we have the GH5S on my tripod, and then the big Aperture 300D Mark II. This is where Miwa-san is with the Koto. And then Tomo with the gimbal, oh, gimbal shots, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then here's Tomo with the gimbal, doing the gimbal shots. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> right now it's playing. Playback. So that's just a quick update. We're taking a break right now. There's still a few more angles that Tomo wants to do. And uh, yeah, check it out. taking down some of the things while Tomo gets one more shot outside the building. And uh, I think that's a wrap, actually. Uh, Miwa-san's gonna go home with a bus, and then we're gonna be here to uh, clean up. And uh, yeah, give you one more update. <laughs> Check it. Yay, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I have to, I have to take it. Hey! <laughs> Yay, Mimosa was great. <laughs> I thought she was so cool when she was playing the koto. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, man, she was so nice too. I know, amazing, amazing person. Really patient too, so cooperative. Yes. That's the kind of person you want to work with. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Miwa-san. So now it's up to me to edit the video. Yeah. A lot when, of pressure. When you were parking, or when you were getting the car, I was telling Miwa-san, oh, well, that's... That, oh, um, to, what do you call this? Sumi-san has to go and edit everything. Let's wish him good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it on my, like, my pace. Yeah. I so mean, yeah, there's no pressure. There's no deadline. <laughs> Except yeah. the deadline you make yourself. Actually, should we... Fly the drone somewhere? Well, if you want to fly the drone... I don't know where though. Uh, I don't know where either. But this side or this side looks good. Which way is... So that's like, we turn that way. But that's crowded, so I'm thinking turning right and then hit into that twist. So we are heading back right now. It's been a long day. We said bye to Mila-san earlier. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. What do you think? Yeah, it was pretty sick. Yeah, I'm looking forward to edit the video. Yeah, how do you think the trip went? Yeah, awesome. Good experience, <laughs> good people, good food. Good shots. Good shots, yeah. Yeah, we're we're beat. We're gonna get dinner. We're gonna go relax and head home. I'm, I wish Tomo luck in the editing process. That's the longest part. And yeah, when the video's done, put a link in the description and I uh, hope you enjoyed this little series. Hey, you have anything to say? Um, I'll try my best. Yeah. Anyway, see ya. Peace. Uh, peace. <laughs> Links in the description to more stuff. And uh, yeah, see ya again. Yeah. <laughs>